crypto investors, this is a warning. So, my personal story. I've been involved in two bull runs. And you know the story if you follow this channel before. Uh, the first bull run was 2017-18. Second one was the 2021 bull run. I've watched crypto YouTube for years. So, this is what originally made me get into YouTube was... Watching people talk about crypto over and over again on YouTube and uh, various crypto YouTubers, you know them all, Bitboy, Cal Moon, and obviously smaller channels as well, which you're going to watch in. But what I've found is a lot of them are all the same. So a lot of them have 50 links in their bio telling you to sign up to a million exchanges. Uh, you know, you'll get five grand bonus if you do this. You'll get two grand bonus if you do that. Sign up to this, sign up to that, and there's like 50 different links. And literally, they tell you that every single coin in the world is going to do a 1,000x. They talk about 100 coins, and all of them are going to do 100x. Personally, I like being realistic, even though it will get me less views. So what is this video about? The harsh truth. Now... I personally do think the 2025 bull run is going to happen and it's based on the fact that there's a Bitcoin halving every four years and the last one was 2020 and then the next one is 2024 then 369 months after that you get a bull run. However, due to, you know, the economic climate at the moment and, you know, we've only got so many bull runs to go off Previously, three, I think there is. Um, it might not happen. So imagine putting every single penny you've got into crypto, then getting wrecked. There's definitely, in my opinion, a happy scenario, a happy medium for what you're going to do when you dollar cost average into your crypto. Like everything in life. Um, so let's look at a few scenarios. And again, if anyone wants to book a call with me, you can do. Click link in the description. We can talk about anything you want to talk about within crypto, your portfolio, your DCA strategy, etc. Um, but obviously not financial advice. Link in the description. So, three scenarios. The first is person number one, the no crypto bro. This person thinks crypto is a scam. So you may know someone like this, because I know a few. They think that crypto is a scam. They go to the pub every weekend or a local bar. They buy designer clothes, new trainers every week. Anytime that you will mention cryptocurrency to them, they'll laugh at it and call it a scam. They'll watch Netflix five hours a day. They'll tell you about the latest Netflix program, what they're watching, uh, the latest series. The outcome is, though, that the bull run happens, or the bull runs, 2025, 2029, 2030, and so forth. They'll miss them. And guess what? They'll retire at a ridiculous age, 75, and they'll have zero money because spend the money on booze, spend the money on trainers. They're not bothered about investing. They think it was a scam, and that's what will happen to them. I know a few people are. You probably do if you're watching Crypto bro, two. So this is the the next person. So do you do you know anyone like this? They consistently save every single penny after their wage. So they won't go out for any food. They've stopped buying the favorite coffee, Starbucks. There's so many uh, finance gurus on YouTube. Tell you to get rich, you've got to save your money and stop buying your coffee based on the trust me bro finance. So they'll say stop buying your coffee, save it instead, you'll get rich. This person will never eat decent food because they put everything into crypto. So they'll get paid, eat pot noodle, stop buying the decent coffee. They won't have any vacations or holidays because they're saving the money. So their vacation is going to a local park with the crackheads for all. Um, they DCA every single penny into crypto. So they may get paid $2,000, but 
they may have one thousand dollars in outgoings, which includes the accommodation, uh, gas, electric, uh, the car, and apart from eating pot noodles or instant noodles or whatever they're going to eat, the rest of it, say a thousand dollars, goes into quick. Two possible outcomes. One, the bull run happens in 2025 and they make it. They've lived a terrible life up until then. The next 18 months, but they've made it. They've made it big. However, if the bull run doesn't happen until 2030 and it's delayed by a cycle, then this person is going to live a terrible life for another seven years. Another seven years of eating terrible food, not having decent coffee, not having any holidays or vacations, and pretty much being miserable on the basis of hoping that they get rich in crypto. Or is this you, Crypto Bro 3? Enjoys his favourite coffee every day, budgets well, still eats food he's like. I've just been out for some pizza, pretty nice. Enjoys holidays or vacations within moderation. Obviously, not going away every single month. Budget a set amount into crypto to DCA every month, which he can afford to lose. After doing all the above and enjoying life. So, for example, maybe this particular person, again, gets two grand a month. However, enjoys going out, eating food, having a decent coffee. Not being ridiculous with it, but just enjoying life. Maybe at the end of the month, their budget, $200 left. Maybe that's what they're DCA to crypto. And what are the two outcomes with this? Number one, the bull run in 2025 happens. They make a decent amount in crypto and the person's happy. They made some money in crypto, great, and they're on a good life. Or there's no bull run that should say till 2030. That's okay with them. And they enjoy life and can DCA $200 a month into crypto for longer. So you tell me which is best. Crypto Bro 3 is me. I enjoy what I love doing day to day. Um, I like, like I was just said, I've just been out for pizza now. I enjoyed it. I'm not eating instant noodles. I love what I do day to day. I like when hiking. I like eating. Uh, like having the occasional drink. But I don't make daft purchases. I don't buy fancy watches. I don't buy fancy trainers. Um, I don't buy anything ridiculously priced clothing wise. Or anything to be honest with you. Um, in fact, the most expensive thing I bought in the last six months is this mic for a hundred, uh, hundred and fifty dollars. This mic, that's it. It's the most expensive thing I bought. I enjoy having trips away, but I know how to sensibly budget what I'm doing with crypto. I DCA a certain amount when I can, and I'm fine with the two outcomes from the 2025 bull run. Whether we have a bull run. Or we don't have a bull run. I'm happy with both because I'm enjoying life. I'm not going stupid, but I enjoy what I do. And I can still DC into crypto and I can still enjoy what I'm doing. So which are you? Are you number one? Obviously, I don't think you are because you're watching this channel. Do you think crypto is a scam? You don't buy anything in it. You know, you go to pull every weekend. Waste all your money on expensive goods. Are you number two, the person living on a mattress that never goes out, that puts every single thing into crypto? Or, like me, are you number three, the happy medium in between the ball and, you know, enjoying life, but also decent into crypto? Let me know in the comments. I like reading them. And uh, let me know your thoughts on this video. If you like my stuff, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you all very soon.